welcome, welcome. How are you today? So this is Code Lab on Tinker Live. My name is Mr. Lockhart. I am the educator support coach at Tinker, which basically that means that I'm the person that helps teachers. That's kind of my goal here because I'm a former teacher and tech coach myself. And so you can see I'm big guy in a bow tie on Twitter. No bow tie when I'm sitting at home. But I'm super excited about today's project because I have a great co-host and it's his first time in the code lab. So be nice to him. Mr. Barry, how are you, Mr. Barry? I am doing great. Thanks for having me today, Mr. Lockhart. That is wonderful to see that you're doing really well. I'm glad you could join us and be with us today. And the project that we are doing today is Space Cowboy. We're gonna sculpt that Space Cowboy. Can you tell me why you picked this project there, Mr. Barry? Well, as you can see, I got my cowboy hat on and I live in Houston, Texas. There's a lot of cowboys here. So I thought doing Space Cowboy for the project today would be perfect for me. Uh, it's, <laughs> that sounds good. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do at Tinker? Cause I know you have kind of this special role, just like a quick, like one minute, like this is what I do. Well, I am the education partnership specialist for camps and after school. So basically I help camp summer camps and after school programs uh, provide great tinker courses um, to kids and uh, just make sure that they're, they're using these courses in the right way and having lots of fun. That's it. it sounds like fun that there's actually going to be, hopefully there's actually some great camps this summer. So now what we're going to do with this project is we're going to build it together then we're gonna make it our own and we're gonna come up with some great ways to customize it. I think I took a look at Space Cowboy. What I really liked about it was that this is a project that is super customizable. You can do all kinds of different things with it um, really easily. And so before we get started with that, I wanna remind everyone to chat with us. So we have this chat going right here. I'm looking at it right now on my other screen where you can chat and ask questions. It's Mr. Barry's first time, so be nice and ask him, but ask him lots of questions. Um, so definitely ask him lots of questions here. But before we get started with the project, we gotta know where it is. So let's run that getting started video. Let's get started. So the first step we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna go to tinker.com and we're gonna sign in. And so if you don't have an account already, the way that you're gonna sign in is you're gonna come over here to where it says start for free, click that and you can get your account. If you do have an account already, just click sign in right here and it's gonna pop up this screen right here. Now this screen right here, if you're a, you have different ways to sign in depending on what your role is. If you're a student, you're gonna go over here and you're gonna click student and you're gonna sign in. If you're a teacher, you're gonna go right up there above parent and you're gonna click sign in up there. And when I sign in, where I'm gonna go is I'm in my teacher account. It may look a little different if it's your student account, but you're actually gonna go to the same place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to where it says create project, and I'm gonna click that button, that big blue button underneath my avatar. Once I click that big blue button, it's gonna take me to our DIY library. There's over 300 templates in here to get you started on all kinds of projects. Python projects, JavaScript projects, HTML, robotics, block projects, and where we're gonna start today is with block projects, which you can see right above my head over here. You can see, you can click that little tab, and then our ho our guest, not our host, our guest will take you through the to the rest of the way. All right, Mr. Barry, you ready? Share that screen of yours. You got it shared? All right, let me flip let me flip over to you. It looks perfect. Let's go and share let's go and let you start this project and show us what you got today. All right, thank you, sir. All right, howdy partners. So um, as you can see, I am logged in right now to a Tinker student account. Uh, so I'm doing this from the Tinker student perspective. Um, and um, in order to get this particular project, I'm gonna want to go down to my projects, of course. Uh, I'm going to create a new project, and this is actually a beginner project because I am a beginner coder, so so that's why I'm doing a beginner project. And of course, we'll go down to Space Cowboy here, 
There's Mr. Cody at our loading screen. All right, I'm gonna take you guys through the tutorial here. So Space Cowboy is gonna show us how to make the cowboy kick a zombie in space. So a lot of things going on here. Um, animation, timing, sound, rotation. Let's get started. Uh, so first we need to make the cowboy kick. So what I need to do is I can drag this block, this animate kick block directly from this column on the left over to here. And it gives me an example of what it should look like there. So <laughs> that looks looks correct. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Next, I got to animate making the zombie fall over after he gets kicked, of course. So I'm going to drag this block over here. And it says the code should look like that. That looks like that matches up. So I'm going to move on. Zombie falls too fast. Okay, so now I got to attach these blocks before the animate fall. Okay, so by the way, if I click play, as you can see, he, he falls really fast. It doesn't really match up with the kick there. So I have to add a little more time in between there. So I'm going to go ahead and add this before the fall block and make sure that the code looks correct. That looks like it matches up. Okay, and then we can try it again and see what it looks like. Okay, so that 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 uh, there's a little more of a delay there, so that looks like it works. So we're gonna move on. Okay, attach this block below the animate kick. Okay, so it's gonna play a sound. Now you probably won't be able to hear the sound, but just know that there is a sound that's being played. All right, and it says it should look like that. So try that again. Oh, there's a sound. Okay. All right, moving on. Bonus, so the zombie doesn't fall right away. Drag these blocks into the zombie's code. So again, let's let's see what happens. So he doesn't fall right away. So now, let's see. We're gonna make we're gonna we're gonna orient him so that he falls the right direction because he's falling backwards right now, right? So that looks like it is correct. So let's try again and see what happens. Oh, he's falling the right way now. So we fixed that problem. You're good at making that zombie fall. <laughs> All right, and so and so that's essentially you know the the ending of the tutorial. But um, I'm going to show you a few other things that you can do in here to to kind of tweak things around. So first thing I want to show you is a stage. So you, as you can see, uh, we're in a space stage because um, this is a space cowboy, of course. Um, but uh, if I wanted to change that stage and I wanted to make it say, oh I don't know, maybe the OK Corral here, you know. I can do that. I'm going to go ahead and save that, make this our adventure stage, and I'll go back. Let's see, did it save that? Oh, no, I didn't save that. Okay, actually, there's an easier way. I can go over here to stage, I believe, and where's the animate stage? I'm looking for my little, uh, when it pops up over here on the left, the, the, uh, the stages that I can sort of pick easily so so go easy. back to code and so you want to click the little pinwheel on the stage and that'll oh, okay. that'll get you the that'll get you the stuff that you want so click the pinwheel there and you get a whole bunch of different stages that you can add and backgrounds and all that kind of stuff in there really easily that i can add so do i click add background here oh yeah look at look at this that opens up Quite a bit. So maybe I want to maybe I want to go to the desert even and add that. So let's see. Okay. So yeah. Now now I'm in the desert and, and let's see. Does he still kick him? Oh, and it, it takes me back here. But when I click play, so I guess because I didn't save it, I'm guessing right. So yeah, you actually should have the that stage. And so on start, it should it's gonna switch to you have to code that stage to actually switch to the next thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I see. So it didn't it didn't replace this one. Oh, no, it doesn't replace it. So like, so for instance, if I put in like that win up arrow pressed um, block and mm -hmm. then I put like next background underneath it, every time I press that that up arrow, that net, it'll switch to the next background. You have to code that background to um, add some uh, stuff in there. That makes sense. Okay, so this adventure theme background, if I if I were to change it here on start, it would keep it on a different a different theme background. 
Okay. So yeah, but that's sound. but re, but that's a that's a sound block right there. So that's going to change the sound in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but if you sure. do switch to background, if you go on start and you switch to background and you click where it says alien landscape, uh, you yeah. can actually change it there. So you could change it to the OK Corral there. So if you press, if you press, um, if you press uh, the stop button and then the play button, it should change to the OK Corral there. There, there you go. There right. you go. Got it. Like I said, I'm a beginner coder. <laughs> You're still learning myself. You're good, okay. man. No worries. No worries. No worries. Everybody's got to start somewhere and it, no worries. All right. So oh. you, are you ready to to switch over and I can show a couple of different things? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. I think, so, I think I'm embarrassed by no, myself. No, no, you here. are totally fine. Don't worry. At least you're learning something here. So can here you, go. can you go and unshare your screen real quick? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, do that. And then we'll flip over to here and not my email. That's bad. So we're going to flip over to here. <laughs> yeah. One more time here. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to flip right. over to here and we're going to come to um, this screen. So I did the project along with um, Kevin. And so what you'll see here is a screen where you have lots of different, this, what's great about this project is you can customize this quite a few different ways. And so like Kevin said, you can go and customize that stage. And I think what I, what I can wanted to do is I wanted to customize it with my own picture. So not just the OK Corral from our backgrounds, but where you can click the little pinwheel and you can add another, a different background. I can go and add background. And not only can you go in and add backgrounds that are already pre-made, but I can actually upload my own pictures as well. So what if I wanted to go and switch this to a background? All I have to do is click upload asset. And what you can do here is that I actually have saved a, a something already. I've saved a Western town picture that, um, it's interesting that you're not seeing my file folder there, but I've saved a Western town picture. I'm gonna click that Western town picture. I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna add that as a background into my project. And so you can see that not only we're not, we're in the OK Corral, but we're actually in a Western town here as well. So you can upload those own pictures in there really well. The other thing that I think that's really cool about this project is there's all kinds of ways that you can customize this. So number one, you can go and you can switch those backgrounds. So I could go and say, all right, instead of an on start block switch to background, I'm actually gonna come over here and I'm gonna use a different event block and I'm gonna use when up arrow pressed. And so I can customize how I actually change to those backgrounds so I can customize where I go. As soon as I hit start, I'm gonna hit when up arrow pressed. It should be changed. Oh, because I have it on alien and landscape switch to background. Whoops, wrong block. See, even I, even I messed these up. So I'm going to go next background. And we're going to go click that in. So it's it was trying to change it to the alien landscape. I needed to change that background as well. So now when I press up, it's going to change through all my backgrounds. So I'm pressing that up arrow key. And you can code that background to change any way that you want. I think another thing that's really easy to customize in this project is when you look at kind of the animations and you look at what these 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 th these uh, characters are doing, there's a lot here to customize. So I can click animate and I can actually make this do all kinds of different stuff. So we can say on start the cowboy instead of kicking, he's going to dance. So now he's dancing and he made that he made that zombie fall out because he was dancing so well. You could go and customize it where you could say he's going to talk. So now the zombie's going to talk and now the the zombie and the, or the cowboy's going to talk and the zombie's going to fall out. But what's cool here is I can also add him a speech bubble of him talking. So if I come down here to where it's looks, this looks on the left side, I can actually click looks and I can actually pull in things like speech bubbles. And so we could have him animate and talk and I can actually have have him animate um, and I can animate it all kinds of different ways. So like this is going to be say hello for two seconds. Um, you can have a style here. And let's see what this actually does, this speech bubble. So now this is going to have him do that speech bubble at the bottom. But I can change that style where I could do it like an oval, just like a comic book. 
and I can have him do that speech bubble there. I can change the colors here. I can change the, it to white and I can change it to, uh, I don't, so we're changing the background to black, the color to white so you can see it a little bit better. Actually, let's flip that and let's change the, the color of the text to black and the speech about the background to white so you can see it a little bit better and that was both black is what it apparently i apparently did not click the background as well as i could have but it gives you that option to really customize this so you can start to tell stories in here i can go and animate him to go and do whatever i want him to do but then i can also have him do say stuff and i can have him speak that way the zombie the same way these animate blocks give you the all kinds of options here where i can go and it looks like i did not do the last part of the tutorial that's the thing that i was missing so i didn't do uh this part where i set his rotation style i set his rotation style so we'll go here and see if he kicks now and he goes the other way i didn't do that last part but now I can go and I can change that. So let's go back to the cowboy and let's have him actually kick again. And so we'll come back over to the zombie and instead of him kicking, it will go and we'll make the zombie, we'll make him dance. So instead of him kicking the zombie and the zombies fall over, now the zombies dance and then he falls over. Um, because it's that animate that was an idol and now it's going to fall. You can also change this weight block to make that look a little bit better. So I could change this to like 0.05 and now it's going to look really fast. Um, but I could change this to 0.5 where this, this zombie gets a little bit better. I think what this project really is really cool for, it's a really simple project. But there's all kinds of ways to customize this out, make it a story of your own and do kind of a whole bunch of different pieces here. So what I wanna do now is I actually wanna flip over and see if there's questions. So if you guys have questions, definitely at, let us know um, and we can definitely take those questions out and we can come and see what those are and we can see kind of how those things are going. And so there's a bunch of stuff in the tutorial that are in the question says that says hi and somebody's quadruple tasking man you are on point if you are quadruple tasking at the moment um but let's see if there's any questions that we can answer kind of and any customizations that you guys want to see i think this is a really key place to go and see that so i'll give it a sec for questions mr barry do you have any questions What if I wanted to change that cowboy, say, to an android or a robot or something? Oh, How would I do that? that's a good one as well. So let's kind of go back to this project. Let me make sure I'm in the right place here and I can see what's going on and see that project. So if you wanted to actually change this, change this character, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about that. So number one, I can actually edit this character and I can come in here in the character studio because it's a character created and I can change him to all kinds of different stuff. So if we wanted to change him to a knight, we can actually change, we can actually change his, um, his face. We can get rid of the hat. Uh, so down here we can go to, he has a bubble now. We can change him all. We can make him this kind of Android uh, space ranger kind of thing. And you can actually customize all of his um, armor. You can customize his peg leg. You can customize his jean. Now he's a jeans. And you can actually customize him out where you have that custom character. But what I can also do is you have all of these costumes here. I can actually add other costumes too. And so I can take him in where he's actually totally different characters and change to that costume. So we'll just say, uh, we'll say he's a baby chick, sure. And so now he's a baby chick. And then all I would have to do to kind of change that, change the same code is I can actually have him and use code to change him where he ends up being a baby chick as well. Any other questions? Mr. Barry, questions from you? 
Awesome. Now you're going to have to help me with this because I told you I would forget. What is the title of tomorrow's show? It is Code Lab, and I'm the one actually doing it, so I should know the title of this show. Uh, let, and me I, I, let me go. Here. <laughs> let me go here. Um, I know it's somewhere in here. Let me find it because I know that I'm the one actually doing. I know what we're doing. I just forget the title that we given it. So the title is actually Constructing Historical Heroes. So really tomorrow's show, what I want this to be, what this is a custom project that I came up with. And the idea here was that I wanted to go in when I joined Tinker and do a project that I used to do in my classes. And so this project that I used to do in my classes is I used to have kids go in and do a commercial for a um, historical figure. So like a historical commercial. So like Thomas Edison selling the light bulb. And what I found is I'd have kids do videos, but I always had that one or two kids who hated being on video. And actually this date is wrong. I just realized that it's tomorrow is Friday. Sorry, it's wrong in here. But it, so this is, this is tomorrow, not today. So it's Friday on the show um, is the next show. But I always wanted kids to have that kind of historical kind of, and I always had those one or two kids that would, really struggle with putting themselves on video and so this is a way that you can for free in a teacher account in a student account you can build that historical commercial and do that animation um directly in a project and code at the same time so that's kind of why it's one i'm kind of passionate about we'll see how it goes um i think today's show was better than the last one i did although there's a couple of mistakes in there i'm still trying to kind of get everything in the right place but let's say thank you and we'll wave and say thank you to everybody. Wave, Mr. Barry. Wave. Do you have anything else to kind of tell the tell the world? No. Go go out and create. <laughs> go out and create. I think that's a great piece.